Aina rarang tira ma aina waka aina mana aina karanga ranga tanga ma aina puputu noa ati na kota ati na kota kiro hui hui mai rata tu kato. So I've just uh, jumped into this session because we're in the back straight now, and um, you've been um, a absolutely committed and focused. And I just wanted to call it quits earlier this afternoon because um, I got your messages. The so, so if I could just convey a few things of thanks. Firstly, um, I wanted to thank our Kai Mahi, um, who have worked uh, very hard to put the conference together. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah, to, to all the people that uh, grew the food, processed the food, delivered the food, and to um, all the hotel staff who have been absolutely marvellous. Uh, we always have to remember uh, those that have served us so well um, and that's part of Fana Water, and so we, we should respect and acknowledge um, all, all the people that have laboured. So um, next is to acknowledge our dignitaries. Uh, we've got um, a number of knights and dames and ladies in the room, so I just wanted to say thanks very much for coming along. Dame Tari, um, you know, I jokingly said at another dinner, she's like the Mother Teresa of Maridim, but um, Fana Water uh, wouldn't have been without uh, her perseverance and assertiveness. And so I just want to once again acknowledge that. Um, so we, we could um, go for a walk down memory lane, so to speak. Um, of, of, you'll have to excuse me when I pull, pull this up because um, my wife sent it to me, so I better be measured about <coughs> saying it. Um, it uh, there was a hui in 1984 at Hwini Waititi Marae. Hui um, Whakaoranga was, uh, it was. Um, just, just to give you an idea of the agenda, uh, at, at that marae, um, the kaupapa and the speakers were as follows. Tataha Hingarangaro, Mason jury. He used to be a Mason then. Tataha uh, Whanau, um, there was Auntie Rose Pere. Uh, Wahi Marae Project, Raiha Mahuta. Some of that energy of hers could just percolate a bit further down to her progeny, that would be helpful. Uh, Rokawa uh, tribal planning experience, uh, Uncle Fata Winyata, uh, and, and on community health, Auntie Putty O'Brien. The, the um, outcome of that hui, there were 10 recommendations. Uh, of, of those, uh, they included that uh, in order to see these gains for our people, it included uh, Tafari Tapafa as the Māori wellbeing model, 1984. Uh, for Māori, by Māori, to Māori is the key to success in any delivery mechanism. A strong Māori uh, health workforce is paramount. So this is 1984. You roll the clock forward, um, and I just wanted to acknowledge, it doesn't matter whether I see some people here from the East Cape, um, uh, the, the point is, it doesn't matter whether they're from the Tairawhiti or the Taranaki or Upokotika or Muri Whenua, uh, we, we've come a long way and uh, we deserve better. Uh, and so the same stories are told from 1984 all the way through. And so uh, the frustration is starting to build. And it doesn't matter whether it's a blue government or a red government. And with respect, it doesn't matter whether it was Tiruroa or Pini. Uh, the point is, uh, the, the levels of frustration uh, growing up and down the country amongst our people uh, are starting to come to a, uh, not a boiling point yet, but not too far off. Now, the problem we have, if I could just put it in one example, and I don't choose this agency uh, to be nasty and naughty, but um, I choose it because it manages our most vulnerable, it happens to be our babies. And it's called Oranga Tamariki. I don't call it that because it has never been able to transact that. Now, uh, it has failed 14 reviews in 22 years. Not one iwi group has ever been statutorily accepted under that statute that is written in there by um, Uncle Mick Brown and them uh, to look after our own children. When it fails, it gets another $234 million. <clears throat> So the problem we've got, using that agency as an example, is, and, 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 it, and it, uh, it is funded off the failure of our people. But, but turn it around the other way, the amount of resource that goes into our communities up and down the country 
uh, two Māori by Pākehā for Pākehā is the problem. But ultimately, when we fail, it's us that are said to fail, rather than those that are resourced to service us a lot better. And that's why the, the key to this hui uh, has always been about self-management and self-determination. And, and so for any staff that are here from Oranga Tamarik, it's not, I'm not getting at you, um, uh, but um, you're in the wrong game with the wrong agency. So <laughs> all, all I want to say is, um, yeah, so, so I'm just saying that, right? So how do we... Uh, because here's, here's, here's the ugly statistic, 69% of babies in the lockup tonight are Māori. <clears throat> uh, the pipeline is 65%, right? Now that pipeline is a apprenticeship scheme leading to youth justice, but also into the incarcerated population. So the catastrophic um, numbers of our people on that uh, conveyor belt, we should not be defined by that, that difficulty. We, We've got to correct it, and the only people that are going to do that are the people who sit in this room. So uh, what we need is uh, transfers, resource transfers across into our own hands. And uh, if we fail our own people, well, we will, uh, we'll have to own up to that. But uh, we can't be blamed all the time when uh, there are a myriad of others who are funded off our people's failure. And if you're the only stakeholder for change and, and to effect change, uh, well, we're going to have to start to stand up a bit better and a bit stronger very shortly. So the beauty about this uh, uh, whānau here in this rohe, in the representation from all the rohe, is that you are deeply embedded in these communities. You are mandated. Uh, you are known. Okay, now, uh, um, as Dame Tari says, it's not about the iwi leaders versus whoever. What it's about is uh, who is connected on the street, who's got the boots on the ground, and you have it. And uh, you see a number of the kaimahi here. Um, they're sitting back there, and they're very humble. Uh, and they'll be thinking, uh, all that flash stuff, all that flash stuff they see up here, they're doing it, you know, they're doing it. So it's not uh, the, the the talk up here is up and down this country. If you look around this room, um, apart, apart from the fatigue that you can see, what what you what you'll actually see is uh, outstanding outstanding practitioners, okay, and uh, uh, with an ability to work across uh, sectors. So we're going to have to um, honour that more. Okay? And why we are getting frustrated and upset is because when the state gets its payments on its strikes, etc., and when the private sector gets its incomes lifted, the people that miss out are in this room, because we're the last to be thought of as, a, as an afterthought, and yet you carry the heaviest burdens on um, caseloads. And so we have to change that narrative as well. Okay, so that's why on every front frustration is building uh, and uh, change will come, uh, but regretfully it's going to have to come by way of us starting to assert a muscle on the street. hate to say that. I don't, now, um, there was a call to revolution. I'm not saying, um, let's get the muskets out again, but <laughs> what, what, what I'm saying is that there's, there's, multiple, approaches, there's multiple approaches to that. So, so I just wanted to say to, uh, this uh, hui has been outstanding, not just for the reaffirmation, uh, of our whānau's aspirations, but, but reaffirming that we are all uh, on the right track. In 2011, when we were in this room, um, groups sat at different tables uh, eyeing one another lecherously because, <laughs> because um, we, we were divided over um, a fight against one another over crumbs, RFPs, EOIs, and all the rest of it. Uh, you rolled the camera forward and uh, under collective impact and under um, our own management, uh, shaped by our own rohe, tanga, well, it's a different, it's a totally different vibe. You'd agree with that, Dame Tari and um, Professor Summation Jury. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to acknowledge uh, how far we've come in such a short time uh, and, and affirm to you that uh, we have the best data systemic uh, in the country relevant to repositories right now for the redeployment of resources into our communities. Uh, our workers, in regard to their recording of uh, their achievements, uh, outperform any state agency and any other provider group. Now, that's, now once you have performed to the maximum performance rates, uh, you deserve to be honoured. Um, that, that's why the frustration will grow, because that's not happening. Okay? And so we are um, uh, on the cusp of a great things, but um, if on the 26th or 7th of May next year, 
uh, the so-called well-beings uh, financial budget that has been brought up to this government uh, does not reward you. Uh, we'll be meeting again, I'm sure, up and down the country doing all sorts of unhappy things. So, so I wanted to just sort of leave it at, uh, <coughs> leave it at that because that message has to get through. Uh, um, and it doesn't matter, as I said, whether it's Labour Party, uh, New Zealand First Party, whatever. What matters is it uh, uh, matters about us. So, so um, it's been very uplifting to uh, work amongst you and sort of walk amongst you. So, so it's been very pleasing in that regard. So I just wanted to thank, uh, thank you. Um, on behalf of uh, a lot of our people that can't. And in our communities, finally I'll say, there are some thankless and ungrateful people. But um, <coughs> but 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 because um, when you when you because they got nowhere, no one else to growl at. They got no one else to growl at, you know. So they take it out on their own, and so that's the um, politics of our difficulty. But so, so I just wanted to uh, rejoice in the company that we've got today. Say that uh, we are second to none. Uh, people don't like uh, don't like prattling on about that, but it's true. And so when you go home, uh, you, you you can take you've drank the Kool Aid, okay, and it's good. So thanks very much, uh, and, and I'll let you break for um, morning tea, and that cuts out 30 minutes of Zavo, so you can book your bookings a lot um, sooner than later. Okay, kapai. Kia ora.